all aboard and hello again friends and fans raptor here welcome to machine key a train i guess you could say simulator and also strategy game for the pc check this out we got a wonderful porter train pulling out of the station and uh, i hope you guys really enjoy this because this is one heck of a game we've built a little train station here at the town and i've actually taken the liberty to connect three big towns build a tunnel three stations plus a depot and so much more not to mention we can literally ride the rails so if you like this type of content go ahead and hit that like button so i know you want to see more of this this game will be available very soon on PC and of course if you're new around these parts go ahead and subscribe so I'm gonna show you that this game has four different seasons I'm gonna show you how to build rails assemble train lines and do so much more cargo transport passenger transport what more could you want so I'll see you all on the other side of the tunnel let's go Woo! All right, folks, we're just pulling into the station. We can actually look around from the train as well, and I think we can actually look from the train cars, too, and see the interior and exterior of the train. Heavily detailed here in this game. It is fantastic so far. So let's go ahead and take a look around a little bit, and I'll show you about the game before we start assembling our uh, train lines here. Very nice. Very, very cool. Good start here. Here's the uh, other cars, by the way, which we can just look from uh, inside some of these cars. Look, we can actually go to the back of each car. That's really neat. I've actually never seen that before. And we can blow the whistle. That is awesome. Okay, goodbye train. So, like any other simulator game, or uh, I guess you could say train strategy game, economy strategy, resource management, this game too has the ability to connect different cities together and transport them via train or truck. You can see here we have a few cities left to connect, and uh, we've connected a few of the major ones. The game is very simple, and for those of you who love transport fever or train fever, and for those of you who loved Railroad Tycoon 2, check this out. By pressing the space bar, this is how you build your train empire. You build it on this grid here, which when you go back to realism mode, looks like two completely different games. Now, I'm definitely a noob when it comes to trains, and I have a little bit of difficulty, especially making dual tracks and all sorts of switches and such, but you can do that in this game. And an interesting currency as well is in order to build bridges and do other things in this game, you actually have to deliver certain supplies over to uh, uh, these uh, types of tool works. So, for example, deliver coal and wood here, it'll give you tokens, which can be used to build bridges. Now, the cool thing is, is you'll be able to play uh, up to, uh, I guess, or against your friends, up to eight players for from what I've heard so far, and we've got a hell of a lot of people at these stations. I'm impressed. There's 66 people waiting here at Station 1, so we've got to build some uh, multitude of tracks and such in order to connect all these uh, cities together, so it's very, very easy to do so. All you've got to do is plop down your station like this, and then go ahead and let it go and build multiple tracks, but if I do that, I'm going to noob it up a bit, so we're going to stay away from that, so I do want to show off the maps, too, that are all procedurally generated. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I should say they're randomly generated. There you go. At the start, you can, of course, select how many mountains, how many rivers, and of course how big you want it as well. I've chosen a small map with a lot of uh, a lot of mountains and a lot of water and in fact I think I could build uh, a little land bridge here across over to this other town so Falkirk it is called Falkirk so we will go ahead and build over there. So let's get to building, let's get to buying some trains and then let's start riding the rails to victory here. The currency down in the lower left corner is neat every time that you deliver passengers or uh, equipment or uh, logs for example you get more of the currency uh, or rather just dollars to build things and then of course the token is a different type of currency that helps you to build those bridges that I had mentioned. Tunnels are free to build, so let's get two of them. Let's go ahead and start building something. We gotta get we gotta get going. I bet you people want to go north, I bet. So uh, there's Charmwood over here, and also East Riding over there. Very small towns, but one of the biggest towns is right over here. London, apparently, somewhere in Germany, I think. And Falkirk, which definitely sounds like a Danish town. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. We all know London is in Canada. It's true, check it out. Alright, Sandwell over here, and also... Uh, uh, wow, what is this? Car Carmen San Diego Shire. All right. So we're going to go ahead and connect these three cities, and I'm going to try to make it look like it uh, had over here. The map looks absolutely beautiful. B built, built by one very small team, and I love this game already. So far, so good. So let's get started. I'll start fresh over here. We got that train over there making us some cash. So let's go ahead and think about how we're going to build this one. So we've got a gigantic mountain in our way. We've got York over here. We've got uh, Thames down and also Falkirk. I think what we want to do here is build them one, two, three. Look at that. One, two, three straight into there, and then we can have Camden Shire, Shire and uh, York come on to the main line from there. So let's go ahead and build a dual train line now. This is going to be a special challenge for me. And I've turned all of the difficulty up in terms of making it as mountainous as possible. So one thing we'll have to do is we'll have to adjust the land. And it, it is kind of a little a little annoying that you only can build in this mode, but it's not like it's not bad. I, I, it would be nice to build in this mode too. But since the game rules require you to be in this mode, well, it just makes sense to play here. So we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a dual, a double wide uh, train station here. 
So let's go ahead and flatten out some of the land here. This is actually going to be really good in order to do this. We're going to make our train line all the way up this direction and all the way up this direction too. So that should allow us to build a two, uh, two wide train line here. Oh, wait a minute. I hope that... Oh, okay. That should be fine. Okay. I thought we almost demolished that person's house. All right. So we've just dumped a bunch of dirt out and we've filled this in. Now we can build a uh, double uh, station here. A two wide, a double wide, like the trailer I live in. Where me? Just teasing. All right, let's go ahead and put down some stuff here. It looks like we can't build it that close. So what we can do, though, is the closer we build the town, the better it is. And we might actually be able to build some... Uh, oh, yeah, building over here would be good, too. But we cannot build on a rock. As you see, we cannot build on large boulders and that kind of thing. So you need to keep that in mind when you're building your station. So let's get to it, then. We should be able to do this with ease, no problem. Three long is about a good, uh, that's about as good as it gets for building uh, these uh, stations. And we're gonna go ahead and connect these into one line here once we get up to this direction. Oh, it looks like we can't, uh, cannot climb with the diagonal track piece. Oh, that's such a shame. All right, we'll have to connect to this main one then. All right, let's go ahead and snake over this direction. And uh, we should be pretty good. Very easy to lay things out. Trees auto-demolish, which is very helpful. We can also deliver coal and such, but we'll get to passengers first, since they're kind of the backbone of the whole operation. Once you get passengers going and start making some money from that, then you can start buying bigger and better trains to fund your train empire. Now, again, this is going to be really fun to play with and against friends, because, of course, the best thing about that? Sabotage, of course. Sabotage is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm probably going to lose a lot of my hair because of that. All right, let's build two stations over here at Sandwell. We're going to connect these like we did our first one, and this is going to be our midway stop. We only need a depot here. We don't need uh, any sort of fancy, uh, for example, uh, like a, a maintenance station or anything. Once you have your depot, that should be good. I'm not sure about breakdowns. I'm not sure about future consoles. Uh, I think the price is going to be fair. I think uh, maybe possibly $16.99. But again, no matter when you're watching this, make sure you check Steam so that way you know how much it exactly is. It's, it's very cool. Look at, look at that. That's how it looks when we go from uh, regular mode, and the tracks really look gorgeous. Now, the train should be able to go all the way up to the 18, from the 1850s or later all the way up to the future as well, so it'll cover a mass amount of uh, train travel, and that is going to be really cool. That's something I really want to see. So being able to start in any era, use steam engines, diesel, diesel, electric, that's all going to be, that's, that's definitely something I want to see. I wonder if these towns will get mad. Building in the way. Yes, I know. I want to bulldoze it. Oh, I, oh boy, I guess we can't do that. All right, we'll have to find a way around that. Looks like those people are going to be stubborn. But we can try to do this. We can try to connect our first line here. There we go. And we'll build all the way through to the next line. Looks like we uh, have to connect it up this way. All right, we'll bulldoze uh, or plow right through this. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. Now, I've uh, seen that the folks from, uh, what is it, uh, train... Train, no, Transport Fever. Yes, they are also going to be playing this game as well, and uh, I haven't yet seen them play that, and that is that, that is great. You cannot have enough train simulator games, folks. I love them. I love them. They're so cool. Not only is it a simulator, well, I guess it's not technically a simulator because you're not in there controlling the train, but you can ride on the tracks in, in, in the main uh, engine, which is really cool. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so all we need to do is figure out this little mess over here at uh, London, and then we'll have that all sorted out. Let's also build ourselves a depot, uh, which we can build some way mid point around here. Let's go ahead and build it. Oops, I was right clicking to rotate. It's actually M to rotate. And you can see folks are already gathering at the station. They're very excited to ride the rails here. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this uh, up on the track. Very good. And back this way and back the other. All right, now this should be... Oh, is that not far enough away? Boy, the, the, the only thing I've uh, taken a while to get used to is you really... First of all, the game goes real crazy with trying to connect stuff. It tries its hardest to... <laughs> look at that. It's like a pretzel. We don't want any pretzels here today. And if you let go of it, it'll try to place it. So that's my only gripe so far is that a little... Some of the train track placement, which isn't that big of a deal, is a little difficult to do. But you do get your cash back for uh, goofing up and having to do something. There we go. That's what we're trying to do, something like that. There's also signals to make uh, multiple train tracks. But we're going to start with one for now. And actually, one thing we need to do and I've not not done this before either so we'll see exactly uh oh what happens here choose the direction by left mouse click oh okay well we just don't want anybody going on the same track at the same time so we'll go ahead and connect it like this these distances are rather short as well so we don't need a, a you know a giant I mean these are really small if I was to make a second train line that would just be expensive for no reason all right let's fix London up a little bit London I don't know why you were London on the track I don't know why I just thought of that but all right let's go ahead and see if we can fix this section over here first there we go and let's see if we can there we go Pick it up don't up you be nice train tracks all right, we might have to back this up a little bit. So one thing I like about this game is the fact that you can ride the trains. You could do that in Transport Fever as well, but these trains feel just a little bit more alive since you can actually get inside the uh, 
inside the actual, uh, what would you say, the uh, the cabin of the train, the, the engineer in compartment, the, I guess cab or cabin, is that appropriate? You train buffs out there will have to let me know. Are you going to pick this one up? Do you think it's worth it? I uh, will have to take a look at that price point, but I, I would say if you love trains, this is, a, this is a good game for you. Not to mention it has a custom map maker. You can make your own maps or you can, uh, you know, you could just do randomly generated. You can build tunnels. I love that. You can actually go all the way through the tunnel too, which is really cool. That's really gorgeous looking. And uh, let's see how our little train is doing over here. Very good. Look at that. She's chugging along real nicely. How many how many passengers do we have? 16. Uh, 54 people over there. My goodness. Well, we're going to have a poor rating, I think, on our transport, but that's okay. She's just here to make money. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Really great. It almost feels like playing a little model train set, and uh, it can run on almost any computer. So that's uh, that's pretty good. It, it actually runs really smoothly. All right, back over here at our uh, construction site. We're going to have to get back to building these trains. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do over here. I'm having a little trouble with the game's uh, mechanics here. Of like, I, I just want to nudge this over just a little bit and look at what it tries to do. It tries to like go all the way to the end of the globe and circle back. So I think what we'll have to do here is I'm going to do uh, just this. Watch this. I'll uh, go ahead and put that down there. I'm going to level this out, which is going to be a little expensive, but that's okay. And I like the fact that the uh, amounts are very small, too. So instead of having to calculate hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's just like 300 bucks. So, And this might be, uh, you know, $19.22, but who knows? All right, so we've got all this connected here on this side. Unfortunately, we had to swing around that way, which cost us a little extra money, but that'll get our trains that much closer to the other station. Let's go ahead and build on this side now. Oh, boy, I wonder what we're going to do over here. So we can't seemingly destroy the house, which I'd like to do. Nope, seems like that's a pretty sturdy house. Won't bulldoze no matter how much we run into it with the bulldozer. All right, let's see if we can uh, get around here some other way. Hmm. We might be able to move the station back. Actually, that might not be a bad idea either. Uh, but I do want to be close to the town because that's where all the passengers come from. So uh, let's see if we can do something else. There, nah, there's a, yeah, we need to do something like that. But unfortunately, we can't go underneath. Oh, we can't do any tunneling. That'd be really cool, though, to build a tunnel under these houses to circle back. That'd be cool. All right, let's see what see what other options we have. We do have the option. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's my only small little beef about the game, is that sometimes the trains just need to have a little bit more... Yeah, we're very close. But anyway, without... Uh, flustering with that too much. We're only going to have one train on here to start with. So let's buy a train. We'll come back to that. No problem. So with 20 tokens, we would get access to the 460 Baldwin, which adds a lot of competitive aspects to it as well. But as I had mentioned, like for example up here, there's all sorts of different... Uh, industries that you can sell from in the future now right now there's only logs to lumber that you can do so we're gonna have to turn logs into lumber over here at the sawmill and then bring the uh, lumber over to this token area over here the tool works which will give us tokens in order to get access to fa uh, future trains that kind of thing better technology obviously so it'll allow us to build bridges that kind of thing so we'll have to grab some lumber bring it to the lumber mill and then grab some coal and bring it to the uh, to the tool works in order to make those uh, trains bigger and better all right well let's buy a regular train then We'll go back to that porter for now, and we'll go ahead and grab ourselves three cars for that. So it seems like as long as you make the station, that's how many cars you should have as well. So in the upper right corner, what we're going to want to do here is click on wagons on this menu, and we'll times that by three. We'll go ahead and set up a route for this as well. So we'll click orders, we will click plus to add the station, and we will start all the way down here at Falkirk. And we'll, I guess we'll start over on this side, then we'll go to London, and then our final destination, oh, we gotta click it each time, and then our final destination is Sandwell. Very nice, okay. And then we'll actually stop back at, uh, we'll stop back at London one more time. There we go. Okay, perfect, so we should be ready to let her rip. Let's see what happens. Where's our train? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're gonna come through the brick wall. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, now watch, our magical stealth train has arrived. Very good, there she is. So I think if we close that menu, it'll disappear, so I kind of want to move this around. There we go. So you can see that she's got 290 horsepower. She can move 74 miles an hour. Very beautiful. So we're coming into the station on this first one. Very nice. Look at how beautiful that looks. Now, I want to see some electric trains. I want to see a diesel as well. I want to see some high speed. I don't know what other types of terrains there will be. I'd love to see uh, Germany, which I think this is pretty much Germany, just with London towns. I'd love to see uh, also Japan and, of course, North America. I would love to see some mission campaigns as well, which I think may be a part of it in the future. But there are little quests. For example, now that we've transported 50 passengers to any city, we now get 100 extra bucks. And now it's saying, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Jack Tamil of LM. 
be our deputy co blah 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 so this guy wants us to deliver logs so if we deliver 100 logs to any sawmill boom we get an extra bonus as well so a great way to make cash on the side instead of just waiting for passenger delivery so it looks like this train is the only one on the track so we're not going to bother with that too much let's go ahead and work on the logs uh and of course you know there there is an easy way to make two trains i'm just uh you know <laughs> i'm a little stuck with my station but that's fine we got plenty of passengers holy crap i think this train can actually hold uh, 24 people so uh they'll have to go one way and then back the other all right let's connect some logs up shall we do that let's do that okay uh, look at this. Wow, we got logs, or a lumber, or rather a, uh, what would you call that? A, a logging site, I guess, up at the top, and also one over here. We're going to do a little short route over to here, and then we're going to bring one back, and then we're going to actually bring the coal over here, too, so we should be able to connect everything over to the tool work. So let's get started, then, and it is a, a pleasure to have you folks here. So if you're still watching, I want to see you guys all spam the train emote down below in the comments section. Just go nuts if you love trains like I do. Heck, everyone should love trains. They're one of the coolest things, and probably one of the first things that you get excited as too, by the way, little trucks and trains and airplanes. Some of the first things you see that just blow your mind. Okay, let's go ahead and start setting up. So you can see it's a little more difficult here. I have, again, chosen a little bit more difficult terrain. So we do need to level some things out before we go ahead and start building some stations. And we'll go ahead and build, a, I guess, a double wide station here to accept both the lumber and also the uh, coal that's going to have to be di uh, directly dropped off here. Uh, wait a minute, do we deliver coal over? No. So the coal will have to come directly here. So let's go ahead and level out some of this terrain. And we're going to start making a, a better spot for our station to go down to. So let's go ahead and you might be able to see what I'm kind of trying to do here. There we go. And we want to also make it not too steep. One of the things about making it too steep is that we'll make boulders. And then, of course, we won't be able to climb it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And uh, we'll go ahead and put down a double wide station here and here. Oh, looks like we'll actually have to move that one out a little bit more too. So a lot of terra uh, terraforming here in this game in order to get your train stations working. And for those of you who love Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe and want to play multiplayer, this might be a, a permanent solution for you on this one because it really mimics that type of style and uh, really is... Uh, memorable and uh, easy to learn, of course, and also it's just, uh, you know, latest and greatest building on great classic things. I see a train route right here for our uh, lumber, but unfortunately, or for our uh, logs, but unfortunately we have to go up here first. So we might actually have some train tracks that will cross over each other, so we might be able to do some tunneling here very soon. So before we do that, let's go ahead and hook up a, a line that goes over to the coal mine. So we probably want to go directly north and then right over to the coal mine. That seems to be the easiest way to go. So let's climb up the mountain a little bit. And let's see if we can circle back this way. Planning out these train routes on a, ma a map such as this is the uh, ultimate challenge. So it is definitely uh, a unique one at that. Oh, are we not going to be able to do this? Let's back up just a little bit. Let's see if we can swing it that way. Oh, yeah. looks like you actually need to go up multiple spaces. So we can't just get away with a tight turn like that. The game's on to us. It knows, it knows my plan. Uh-oh. All right. We'll have to go up and around the town then, which is not bad. Uh, we can actually just go up this way and then circle around the town and go right up there. Perfect. All right, let's do that. Wow, listen to this music. That is one of the best things about this game, too, is that the music is just, like, it's just good. It's just good. I think they might, I wonder if they'll sell a soundtrack with it. I'm sure uh, Jan is watching right now, the uh, developer of the game, so make, make a separate soundtrack. It's good. And, of course, uh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see this type of game. Developer's very kind, too, by the way. Some developers are just like, here's Hockey, but he's just like, happy to work with you. And it's like, yeah, this is a cool game. I want to see more games like this. Got to have more games such as this. All right, we gotta we gotta snake around here a little bit, and uh, I don't know exactly the best way to do this other than going right up this way. So let's see if we can snake it just a little bit here, and then oh, it's it's still making me want to go all the way around this town. All right, I got an idea. We'll just nudge it in here. There we go. Ooh, we don't want to de demolish too much of that forest. It's not too expensive to build up here, which is not the end of the world. Oh boy, it, it just not it does not want to turn, does it? Oh no! Wow, twenty six bucks on that one. <laughs> There we go. A little loopy on those turns sometimes. But that mistake has probably happened to me a million times in other train games. There needs to be a failsafe for this. It should be like, hey, Raptor, it doesn't look like you're, what you're, you know what you're doing. Are you sure you want to do this? No, but please do it anyway. All right, let's see. We're going to have to go this way then. We don't have to demolish everything. A lot of the uh, train track can actually be built on elevated rail, which who thought of this idea? Why not just flatten it out there, noobs? Oh, you guys are worse than me. All right, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll continue to build down to the end of the station, and I doubt we're going to be able to swoop around like I wanted to. Oh, my God, we are. Look at all that. We did it. Yes, perfect. All right, we'll sneak all the way up to the coal, and that will be that right up there. So we'll have a train car directly de delivering coal from the... Um, 
coal, I guess you would call it the coal mine, uh, down to our uh, depot down there. So let's get this started. Let's get this train line going. And of course, there will be uh, roads that you can build as well. So I think cars will be implemented into it shortly as well. So let's see here how many. Mm, looks like we might need to back the station up a little bit. I may be able to do this. And we do have to build our station on completely flat land. And uh, so we do need to level this out a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, get the game to recognize that we want to flatten it out. Let's see. This would be good. Nope. Doesn't want to. You don't want to do it. You better do it. You better. All right. Let's try this. There we go. Oh God, no. Uh oh. <laughs> it takes a little bit of uh, f finesse, I guess, to get it uh, where you want it. Wow. What? Oh, look at all that smoke that comes by when you deliver that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can crack it down one more. Perfect. That's the train depot we're looking for. The station, rather. We'll have to put a depot down somewhere, too. All right, there we go. Three long on that one and three long over here. Let's get our coal train going. And uh, let's go ahead and put it somewhere where we can connect to the other station as well. Um, or the other uh, train line. Mm, this might be a little tricky. You know what we can do? We can put a depot over here and then uh, have the true train lines connect somehow. Hmm. We'll put it. We'll put it up here. It's only 58. Well, that's actually kind of expensive. Now that I think of it. Uh oh. Now the strategy's coming into play, isn't it? We could also put it back here and have it connect to the uh, depots that way. Let's do that because I'm not sure how ma maintenance is going to work on this game either. It's one thing I have yet to learn about. All right, we'll put it back further. One thing I've learned about myself uh, so far is that I need to give myself a lot more room in these uh, in these turns. Look at that. See, it wants to go all the way over there. All right, let's get this first one down. Oh, really? That's the first one? Oh, my goodness. You really have to be closer than I thought. All right, one there. One on the other side. And we're good. We'll just take that little piece off right there. Uh oh Looks like we'll have to demolish the whole thing. Not, not too bad. And we should be good. Perfect. All right, both train lines look to be connected. Very good. And that's there. All right, let's get our first train going. Then coal train is up. Boop, boop. Big old coal train. That's going to be a negative 40 for that one. So let's go ahead and buy our train cars for that. Wagons, we're going to need the Talbot. And the Lin... Oh, wait. Oh, the Linz is more advanced. But again, we need tokens for that, which we're getting on making right now. Two, three is what we want. So this is going to be an easy train line. We're going to need you to go from station six all the way up to station uh, number seven and back and forth. Very good. Let's get rolling. Let's roll out with the coat train. Here we go. Let's see what she looks like again. Oh, my face, the brick walls. There we go. And again, the porter, uh, what is it, 226, is it? All right, there we go. Let's see it roll out of the station. Very beautiful looking uh, station as well. I love how the uh, game helps you to level out terrain by uh, putting down a lot of uh, either uh, gravel or stone in order to level it out. Look at that, baby. There she goes. Very nice. Hopefully that's enough to haul some of that coal back this way. Uh-oh, she's on the wrong. Uh-oh. You noob, you took the wrong stop. How did you do that? <laughs> How did it manage to do that? Uh, that's all right. We'll just build it up this way. There we go. She should be able to make it through then. All right. Now, let's go ahead and uh, I'll have to demolish that and reconnect that. But one thing is clear. We've got a, a pretty straight way to the, uh, to the uh, depot over here. We should build the station first, actually. And uh, unfortunately, we can't level the... Oh, we can. Very nice. We can level the station out. Ooh, does that mean it's going to destroy that? Wait, what is that orange? I don't want it destroying anything. Hold on a second. Oh, that's three. Let's make it right here. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, it didn't destroy a thing. Very good. All right, we're very, very close to the uh, to the lumber mill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this train go up here to haul logs, and then we'll have to have a train coming back to deliver lumber, too. So it shouldn't be the end of the world uh, to have these connecting like that or going very close to each other. So let's build another train line over here. We're going to build another station next to the, the sawmill. Uh, to make it into lumber. I guess you call it... Is a sawmill and the lumber mill the same thing? Those should be synonymous, right? All right, let's go ahead and put... Mm, remember, Raptor, you need a lot more room than you think you do. Okay. Let's see here. You know what? We can probably swing it this way. Let's do this. Uh, I should be able to build it right here, right? No. Right here. Yes. Ooh, ooh that's going to be a big O. Big O turn right there. We'll swir Oh, yeah, we'll go up the hill. This is going to be nice. Sure. Oh. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yep, that's what I need. And back this way. Wow, the turns in this game are a lot wider than I want, but something I'm going to have to get used to. All right, let's go ahead and swing over this way. The longer you have the uh, train line going in a straight line, too, by the way, the faster your speed of your train. So it is best to try to minimize times where you're making turns, but this is going to be a it's going to be a tight turn here, I think. Let's see if we can possibly get our train going this way. Uh-oh. She's going to want to hang out up here. 
All right, our cold drain is loading up right now over at the other station, so that's good news. Oh boy, all right, see this is where I get messy in these tight turns, so a lesson will have to be learned eventually. Practice makes perfect in these types of games too, so don't get frustrated uh, if you're uh, getting this one and uh, you know you have trouble making these types of turns. And of course, one thing that is going to be amazing is watching people make these train super highways. You'll see other YouTubers out there where it's like, hi, it's Billy26, and uh, check out my 900 train, uh, <laughs> 900 wide train highway. And I'm like, hi, right, Billy, I, I don't like you anymore, but good video. All right, very good. Okay, so everything's connected here. So we've got our uh, lumber mill set up now, and we should be able to have another train stop over here uh, as well. So we should have this train line swinging over this way. Actually, we should have made these two parallel to each other. I'll uh, back this one up too. So a lot of learning too. I've, I've only played it briefly. So I'm learning along with you who know what you're doing. All right, let's go ahead and see. Oh, come on now, make it make that nice and tight. Get those two next to each other. That'd be awesome looking. Let's try to go for that. In the meantime, oh, there comes our uh, coal train. And it, oh, it has 13 left back there. So that's gonna be good. Although it's gonna get real full up very soon. So we'll make some more cash for that. Now remember, we'll get a bonus for delivering the logs too. So let's get on that right away. We do have a train line over this direction, but I don't wanna build another um, see, I'm very bad at connecting all these train lines together because I don't like managing the traffic. That's just not my specialty yet. So what we'll do is we'll spend a little bit of money on a train depot, which actually is not going to be bad. We'll build one over here to connect to two different lines. So that way we can build both the, uh, the lumber uh, train and also the token train, which is going to haul, uh, well, the lumber, uh, the logs to the lumber mill and the lumber uh, from the lumber mill to the tool works. Very good. All right, let's go. All right, moment of truth here. Does Raptor know what he's doing? The answer, no, but I'm <laughs> I'm figuring it out, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna circle back this way. Also, I had a friend from uh, uh, the Czech Republic uh, asking me like, hey, is this, is this game any good? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm Czech and I wanna know. I see the game is from a Czechoslovakia. And I'm like, yeah, somebody from, from uh, wait, if you're from, does that make you Czech? Oh yeah, that's right, because they broke up. They had that thing in the 80s. They didn't talk for a while. It's all good, though. All right, Sawmill, here we go. We're coming this way now, so we're going to circle back over here, see if we can bring this one over to this uh, train line this direction. And we should be able to circle back. Oh my goodness, these train turns are tighter than I think every time. We can swing it to the right. There we go. Oh, actually, this will this will make for a really good... Uh, there we go. Come on now, train. Don't do this to me. we got to be cool, train. There we go. All right. seems like if you stop towards the end, it makes it a little bit better. Very good. Okay, so that train is ready to go there. And we're going to build another one up here that's going to circle back to this direction. So we should have enough cash to do this. Should, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we can't build any closer than that. So we'll be good here. All right, we're almost go. Wait a minute. We need this train. Okay. All right, let's see if we can build up here. I wanted to build some tunnels or something, but we might run out of some, uh, what is that stuff called? Cash, right. Gonna need a lot of that. Better build this way. You know how I am with turns. All right, we'll go up over the mountain, and then we'll come back down this way, see if we can make a turn. Oh boy, she doesn't want to do that. Come back this way then. Cannot climb with the diagonal piece. Oh, you jerk. All right, we'll figure this out here. We're getting low on cash. Let's see how our coal train does. Oh, she's running back that way. Perfect. All right, we better get our uh, sawmill train going right away, so that way we can make money from that. So let's go to the engines. We'll buy this for 40. Plus, we need to buy some wagons for this one. I'm loving this game already. Very nicely done, Jan. Very nicely done. This is just... It seems so simple. It's simple fun. And it is. You know, connect this to that. That doesn't seem very... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is addictive. You'll love this. All right, let's go also grab this one, and we got the two train stations connected, eight and nine, seven, eight, nine. That's why he's no longer hungry, and there we go, yet another train rolling out. So again, we're just playing in the early eras of uh, 1923, but there are modes where you can uh, build from any train in any time, and also unlimited money modes too. So for those of you wanting like a train, a, mo a model train kit experience, you can make your own map, you can set it to unlimited cash. You can put down all the towns where you want. You can make it look absolutely gorgeous and make a train model set if you want to. Or you can play this like me in you know, just the regular mode of an economy and try to build a uh, build a nation. There we go, 18 coal coming back on this train. Very, very nice. All right, folks. Now, again, if you want to give me suggestions for future train names and such, go ahead and do that. I'll love your comment, by the way, and possibly pin the best train name up to the top. So for those of you who made it this far, Oh yes, you're going to get a special reward if you help me name some of these trains, and I'll probably continue on to playing this one. We got $99, and apparently we got four, what is this, four, four coal. Oh, I see, it also tells you what we have for, uh, 
for delivery here. There we go. All right, so we got four coal needed for our uh, tool works. We now need to start delivering the lumber. Looks like the lumber mill is about to deliver for the first time. We have 36 or 38, 38 logs at the lumber mill. Check this out. This is going to look awesome. Well, it looks like our car is almost, oh, no, it's perfect at the end of the station. There we go. For those of you who love farming sim, look at the detail on that. That is just really astounding. That's just beautiful. It says Denver Western. I think we're a long way from Denver there, pal. All right, look at that beautiful little train station. That's really gorgeous. Right, right on the cliffs like that. Just gorgeous. Ooh, something weird with the water there. That's all right. No problem. All right, so the train's going to have to make its dramatic climb up the hill. Let's go ahead and finish off the next train line. Ken, okay, we don't have to finish this one until the uh, lumber has arrived. It's got to still be turned into uh, to logs, from logs to lumber, I should say. Very, get very confused, don't I? All right, let's go ahead and make a turn to the top. I'm going to see if I can possibly angle this one a little bit and come down at, a, at an angle this way. Oh, wait a minute. Can I build on rock? All right, you know what Raptor's going to have to do. We're going to go ahead and flatten this out a bit. See if we can actually raise the uh, elevation just slightly. And this should help us to build a uh, better platform to get down here with. That'll help a little bit. So let's see what we can do up here. We're looking to get up that way. Cannot climb on a diagonal piece. So we should be good here. Oh, we can swing way out. Wait a minute. We might have this. Oh, we, we do. All right, perfect. We'll just come from the bottom. Just like Drake. We'll start at the bottom, and then we'll get here. There we go. Oh, come on now. Oh, you butt. Look at that. It's being... <laughs> We're so close. All right, let's... Uh, hmm. What's a good solution for this? Well, we can connect the trains that way. That's a good way to connect those up. Should be able to just connect it this way, right? Without making the uh, giant pretzel, please. All right, hold on a second. Let's try this. I bet it'll work now. Oh, shocking. Wrong track crossing. All right, that's fine. We don't need them to connect anymore. Now that that train got to the other side. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up here to make some real big money now. Look at that, our log. Uh, oh, the, look at that. Oh, yes, we're getting logs turned into lumber. Beautiful. That's making uh, three planks, I guess. Three lumber. Uh, looks like uh, So it looks like three logs make two. So four there. Okay, so you can see we still have nine. So coal's being transported back and forth. Very good. Let's connect this other station now. Uh, to the other, uh, what is this thing? The depot. Yes. All right, let's see here. You know, one thing I would like about the depots is possibly the ability to go out either side or uh, make like a bigger turntable depot or something like that, just just for uh, the ability to get it onto the tracks a little bit more efficiently. Okay, let's see if we can get this train going somehow. We could possibly, oh boy. Oh, man. All right. All right, in order for me to get this one up here, what are we going to have to do? And by the way, if you hadn't noticed, there, yeah, there's seasons. They work together really nicely. I like that a lot in this game. Really cool to see the uh, world that you're working in actually come alive. You know what we can do? Mm, let's see. We can try to have it circle back this way. This train won't go any further than here. So what we can do is try to make a whole elaborate way to get it over there, which is going to waste time and money, which are two things I'm very good at. Let's try to do that. Oh, look at that. That's the tightest turn this train can make. Oh, wait. We can circle back. All this for one train, I know. Actually, I'm sure there's an easier solution to this. I just need to find it. We could go back around that way, can't we? Let's see here. Hmm. What if we try to go through here, huh? Oh, that's cool. Hold on, let's see if we can get the train station to... Uh, can it turn from here? Ooh, we're on to some ideas here, yep. There we go. There we go. Solutions are my specialty. Just give me a while, that's all. All right, let's see. Up here we go, and then up this section. And we should be able to circle right into it right up here. Uh-oh. Somewhere around here. Somebody's got to give away. All this extra track, just because we can't nudge over a little bit. But that's okay. It'll look good. Ooh, that looks really cool. It looks busy. Bumping over here at the train depot. All right, let's make some of that cash. Money, money. Come on now. Jeez, am I going to really have to make... Oh, I know I know you're angry at me. You know, actually, a good thing is, if we build these two tracks next to each other, if we ever have to expand, this is not this is not bad now that I think of it, because when we go to expand our train line, uh, we will have two parallel tracks working together. So if we need to deliver more to this train depot, we'll be a lot better set for it. So hold on a second. Oh, it doesn't want me to connect over here. 
Let's try to back it up one more. Again, these train lines haven't opened. Wow, it's like you have to do things with a lot of finesse in this game. Actually, can we just go straight on to this one? Doesn't look like we can do that. Hold on, let's see if we can... Nope. Come on, baby. She's going to be fighting me. There goes our other coal train. Hi, coal train! Oh, these are sweet. These train lines that go up into the hills like this. Really cool looking. We can put down trees, too. So if we want to uh, clear a forest in order to build a train line and then we want it to look like a forest again, you can definitely do that, too. That's something I'm going to have to do. Though, this game's just being a little picky, that's all. About where I put this uh, turn. I'll oh, back up once more. And we'll see if we can go up over the top. Nope, doesn't want me to go that way either. Can't slide over this way. Come on, train. Oh, there we go. That's far enough. And we should be good right there. Perfect. All right. Cool. Now we got our train connected. So, yes, if we ever need to get extra trains over in order to deliver the, the uh, lumber or whatnot, we can buy another train. And, and actually, we have two lines pretty much ready to go. We'll just build the station right there. So not a bad situation. That's what it's all about is finding solutions like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy a porter. We're going to buy some cars for lumber then, which is the uh, Ronghofer. I believe that's my last name. I'm always wrong. All right. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Uh, let's see. We're going to stop at station... Uh, I guess we have to go there first in order to circle back. That'll be fine. And it'll give extra time for lumber to go on because this thing can hold, uh, let's see, a total of X amount of lumber. I'm not sure. All right, wait a minute. We have coal sitting here. It looks like it's using the coals a little by little. All right, let's go ahead and start that train. Yet another train. Our fifth train now. We've got five trains. That's incredible. Now, over here, you see early steam age. In order to get to the next uh, level, we can invest 100 uh, lumber and 100 coal. That'll allow us to do that. We'll be getting our objective here very soon from our, our homeboy, um, Jebediah. I forget this guy's name, Jack. He looks Amish. That's cool. Subsidy here. So, again, if we do this, we'll also get extra bonuses and get uh, advanced a little bit. So, this is kind of how multiplayer will work, is the competition's all about those tokens. And uh, that's going to be really cool in order to uh, get all that money from that. Now, it looks like one train is stopped at a... Uh-oh. We got a train stopped at a signal. Oh, I know why. Because he's on the same track, so it automatically stopped him. Oh, that's not a problem. We'll just go ahead and put this uh, train signal over here. Actually, wait. We'll just disconnect the line. Screw it. There we go. All right. He'll make his way through then. Come on, train. You got to go. Beep, beep. Or can he go because he's connected to the other station? No, he should be fine. Train 21. Raptor to train tw uh, number five. I'm sorry. Train number five. Go to depot. All right. You go to your room. All right. Let's shut him down. Ignore next signal. Reverse. Oh, there he goes. All right. I'm just trying to get him out of there. So he wouldn't run because that train was on the same line. So I guess there can't be crashes, but uh, that's fine. We'll reconnect those if we need to. This is just a cheaper solution. Okay, so train five is going to go pick up the logs very soon. Let's beat up time now. Let's see exactly how good we did on everything. So we've got a lot of money coming in from different stations. We've been ignoring this section and such because I've been learning a lot more about the, uh, you know, the whole uh, train line system. But we seem to be doing okay. Plymouth there seems to need to get moving with a lot more trains. But that's why you'll need multiple lines. And, uh, wow, look at that go. Those trains are just fully loaded. Plenty of cash being delivered. Uh, oh, man, that's awesome. Look at that. All that money from every one of those logs. Those logs make us some cash as well, though I can't see how much. We'll get that bonus, too, for it. And there goes a full train of lumber. Look at that. That was good we waited on that. Here comes the lumber into the station. There goes the coal into the station. Unloading everything. Perfect. So you're going to see a token be made there. There we go. Two tokens on that one. So tokens for coal and lumber, which we can then choose to invest in different industries and such. I don't know why it's selling the station five. There we go. All right. It was just an old thing there. All right. So yeah, we're going to need that. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot more lumber to be delivered in order to uh, meet the demand of the... Uh, of that uh, little lumber mill. So this is a definitely a promising game here. They, they, this is just a glimpse, just a first look of what this game has to offer. Again, Mashinki. Mashinki, a very, very cool game. Uh, apparently trucks are coming. I could be wrong about that. I did hear a little bit about it. I haven't seen anything. But again, you'll have diesel electric. You'll have diesel. You'll have high-speed trains and uh, more passenger services and many more industries. Lumber and coal are just a few to begin with. So get ready for that. Not to mention the ability to build tunnels, which are very easy. So uh, before I let you go, let's go ahead and build one more tunnel somewhere. Let's tunnel over to one of our other cities, like for example over here near London. How are we doing over here? Four people over there. Looks like the train service is doing really good over... Oh my god! 
Wow, Sandwell has 141 people here. We're going to have to get that second line up ASAP. And luckily, we have some more cash to do that if we need to. So let's go ahead and build a quick tunnel somewhere. Let's go ahead and tunnel over to, uh, let's see if York could use some more passengers. Though we could drive along the coast for that one. Where would be a very useful place to build a tunnel? Here at Bradford. Look at that. We can tunnel right through over to Leeds, or we could also bring it down to Huntingdonshire. But anyway, to build a tunnel is very, very simple. Uh, all you have to do is uh, click on the tunnel button here and uh, actually just tunnel right through the right through the cliffs like I did right there. So it's not too uh, not too advanced. You, I don't think you can take turns or anything. It's straight through, which is a little, uh, little unfortunate. But as time goes on, maybe you'll be able to build curved tunnels. Time meaning either with an update or perhaps in the future where we've developed that type of technology. All right, folks. Well, thank you very much for joining me here today. Again, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let the developer know. I want to support the developer. That's my goal here today. So at least check this game out. If you liked it, if you downloaded it, go give a positive Steam review as well if you liked it. And if not, just let the developer know what he can do better. And I really can't think of a lot of things that I'd like to see aside from just it is a pain in the neck for me to do these rails sometimes. But practice makes perfect. So I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Again, hit that like button if you want to see more. Raptors got to get out of here. So I thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Woo. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. We're arriving at... Where are we now? London? Oh, right. I'm going to go get some fish and chips. All right, I'll see you all very soon. Take care, and goodbye. All right, everyone get off.